Hey everybody, we're here with the retail copy of Halo 4. Going to take a quick look at the packaging and then we'll bust it open for a first look unboxing. There we go. Let's take a quick look at the artwork on the front there. There's a nice title. Scanning on down. Yes, this is completely authentic. There's the rating, the 343 and Microsoft logos. There's Master Chief. Looking good, looking good. You can compare the way he looks right there to got some of the prior Master Chiefs in toy form. They're keeping an eye on what we're doing here. You can see how the costume has evolved a little bit. All right, why don't we pick this up and we'll take a closer look. Get another shot of the front with a different angle here. Again, there's the NTSC box, the logo. Yeah, always looks good. I'll flip it over on its spine and take a look. Yes, it is Halo 4. There's the part number on the bottom. Let's take a look at the back. Up on the back, got some nice text up on the front telling you what to expect, highlighting war games and Spartan Ops. There's a quote up here, most anticipated game of 2012. Now, when some of you hear the source of this quote, you're probably going to roll your eyes. Look down on the bottom here. What is that? Yes, the source is everyone's favorite website, the one you love to hate, VG Charts. But hey, we'll give, um, we'll give Microsoft a pass on that one. Let's take a look at some imagery on the back. And some of the more screenshots that you'll see on the back of the box. Got the Xbox Live um, promo tag. This is an interesting little tidbit here. It includes a 14-day live gold trial. Normally, Microsoft hands out the two-day trials, but a nice 14-day package has got to be a, something to be said about how serious they think the multiplayer is going to be as a part of the game. That's going to be included in every retail box. Here we got some of the logos again, UPC, the legal work. All right, let me look at the spine. Here's, again, to prove authenticity. Here's that seal. Oh, look at that. Software made in Mexico. Mexico plant is where the um, Halo, big Halo 4 leak apparently happened about two weeks ago. So it looks like we're, we got a retail disc from the same plant. Let's go ahead and bust open this plastic now. See what's actually inside. Yeah. Careful so we don't slice anything. All right, time to just rip that plastic off. Oh yeah. This is gonna be your first look at an official retail Halo 4 disc. Unlike those Mexican pirates, this one is entirely legit. We got it straight from Microsoft just so we could bring it to you guys. Alright, crack it open. Just go ahead and bust it open. It should pop right apart. You don't have to peel it off. little difficulty with the security sticker. I guess that's why they call it a security sticker, to make sure it's secure. There we go. There you go. When you first open it up, you can lay it flat there. You're going to see the 14-day trial on the left and the discs on the right. Is there a manual behind that um, trial card, or is it just that? Looks like all we got is the trial card. And then let's look on the, um, what's underneath here? What have we got? Just some warning stuff. So there's no actual manual here in the box. Just some legal information. Let's take a closer look at the discs. I'm going to pick up disc one there. So it looks like it flips off on the, the disc holder. You can just pop it right out. This is the actual Halo 1 game disc. When you get your retail copy, 
this is what's going to be staring you in the face before you stick it in your Xbox and start playing for the first time. Now disc one, this is where all the gameplay is for the single player campaign and disc two is going to have the installable multiplayer. Let's put disc one on the side and take a look at disc two. Alright, can we get a closer look at the multiplayer disc? And here we have it. No fancy art on here. But there you have it. The orange Promethean glow. Okay, I can throw that back in. So that is pretty much it. If you get the regular retail package, there's no fancy manual, just the game, the two discs, and of course the 14 day trial for Xbox Live. This set is going to set you back $60 US, and that's about it. Right now we're going to say goodbye as we get to playing. Be sure to check back on worthplaying.com on November 1st for our official Halo 4 review. See you guys soon.